This is a uh, numerical error propagation example where we're asked to find the density and the uncertainty in the density of two objects. Uh, we're given the lengths of the three sides with some uncertainty um, to the one millimeter and we're also given the mass uh, to the uncertainty of uh, one gram. Remembering that my density rho is equal to the mass divided by the volume it's fairly straightforward to calculate the density here as long as we can work out the volume. It's just going to be given by the multiplication of the three sides. Let's call one side x, one side y, and the other side is z. So that's x times y times z. So the density as a numerical value can be written down as 1000 grams divided by 50 by 50 by 10 uh, millimeters cubed. So we've got grams per millimeter cubed. If we work that out numerically, 1,000 on the top cancels with 1,000 on the bottom, we have 1 divided by 25, and that's 0 0.040000 precisely. But we can have two significant figures because uh, these numbers here for x, y, and z uh, all have two significant figures, which is the smallest number of significant figures in the problem. Well, now that we've found the density, we want to find the uncertainty in the density as well. And so for that, we should recall um, our error propagation formula. So how do the uncertainties in the masses and the uncertainties in these lengths here end up affecting uh, the uncertainty in density? So if I have uh, an expression where I've got multiplication or division, what I want to do is remember I add the relative uncertainty. So the delta rho over rho, the relative uncertainty in the density, must be equal to delta m over m, the relative uncertainty in the mass, plus delta v over v, the relative uncertainty in the volume. And one of these terms we have, we've got delta m and m, we don't have delta v and v. However, we do know how the volume can relate to the lengths that we're given, x, y, and z. So we know that the volume here is equal to x times y times z, so since we've got multiplication, once again we can use the relative uncertainty delta V over V must be given by the sum of the relative uncertainties delta X over X plus delta Y over Y plus delta Z over Z. And if we wanted to, we could uh, write out the expression for the density delta Rho over Rho is equal to delta M over M plus just substituting this expression directly for delta V over V. Delta X over X plus delta Y over Y plus delta Z over Z. Another way of generating this is if you were to rewrite the density in terms of uh, the equation the mass divided by the X times Y times Z for the volume. Okay, let's put some numerical values in here. Uh, we've got one part in a thousand for the mass. Uh, the length of x is one part in 50, one part in 10, so that's actually the dominant error, plus one part in 50 again for z. Adding those together, uh, we're going to find that uh, we've the one tenth is the leading term, so that's 0 0.1. One on 50 is 0 0.02, so we have two of those, so that gives me 0 0.04, and then one part in a thousand gives me one at the end here. So you can see that the leading term here is really due to our uncertainty in that um, height as the, the dominant error there. Uh, so that's the relative um, uncertainty in the density. What about the uncertainty in the density? That's what we want to find, delta rho. Well, that's just going to be equal to 0 0.141 multiplied by rho. So putting in a numerical value, 0 0.141 multiplied by 0 0.04, uh, 0 is equal to uh, 0 0.00564 so I've kept quite a few decimal places but I uh, really want to truncate appropriately so we could say that our density rho plus or minus delta rho is equal to 0 0.040 grams plus or minus where am I going to uh, round or truncate well, I want to make sure that my uncertainty only has one significant figure and that significant figure should occur in the uh, same decimal place as, well, as the last decimal place for my answer. So that looks like it's 0 0.006, so rounding this up, and this occurs in the third decimal place here, one, two, third decimal place here, so that checks out as well. For object B, which is the cube, 
uh, now all three sides are the same so my volume now is just equal to the length cubed we can say that my density is equal to mass divided by L cubed so we can work out a numerical value for that so once again it's a thousand grams divided by now 30 millimeters cubed and that gives us 0 0.0 uh, but we're going to once again keep only two significant figures. Let's now have a look at the relative uncertainty delta rho over rho. So now how do we deal with powers? Well, once again we've got the relative uncertainty delta over m for the numerator. On the denominator, all I think about here is that's really L times L times L. So I'm going to have a delta L over L for the first L, and then a delta L over L for the second one, and for the third one, those three terms are all the same, so I can just write down what the power is uh, in front of that. So 3 times delta L over L. If this was M over L to the fourth, this would be a 4. Okay, so let's put some numerical values in here. So once again, one part in a thousand for the mass, and we've now got three parts, uh, and the length here is uh, 30. Okay, so uh, delta L was 1, so it's worth there, so 3 parts and 30, um, and uh, that makes it nice and easy, so we've got 0 0.101 as my um, relative uncertainty in my density, once again completely dominated by uh, the uncertainties in the um, lengths. So uh, uncertainty delta rho is just going to be equal to 0 0.101 multiplied by rho. 0 0.101 multiplied by 0 0.037. This just looks like uh, dividing that number by 10. So 0 0.0037 and some higher numbers which will truncate anyway. So my density plus or minus my uncertainty in my density I can report as 0 0.037 grams per millimeter cubed plus or minus, once again remembering I want to only have one significant figure in my uncertainty and to make sure that it has the same uh, decimal location as the last digit in my measurement. So this will be 0 0.004. So I'll round this one up. Let's just check that. So it has one significant figure. It occurs in the third decimal place. One, two, three, third decimal place here. Fantastic.